A while back, this channel released a YouTube tips and tricks video primarily for PC users. There were a few tips mixed in for the YouTube mobile app as well. After that video, there were many of you that requested a dedicated video with tips for use with the YouTube app on Android. So if you own an Android phone or tablet, I will show you 10 tips and tricks that you can try out with the YouTube app. Coming up on Tech Gumbo. First, we'll take a look at the double tap feature. This is a feature I use most often in the YouTube app, and it's a lot faster than dragging the seek bar at the bottom. While watching a video, if you double tap on the left side of the screen, the video will jump back 10 seconds. Tapping twice on the right side will make the video move forward by 10 seconds. Rapidly tapping is also very convenient. Let's say you want to move the video forward by 60 seconds. Double tap your screen, then just single tap quickly until it reaches 60 seconds. I'll demonstrate. By default, the double tap length is 10 seconds. Here's how you can change that. Tap on your profile picture in the upper right corner. Go down the list and select settings. And then general here at the top. Select Double tap to seek. Here you can change the default from 5 all the way up to 60 seconds. I'll change mine to 20. While you're watching a video in full screen mode, if you want to find another video to watch without exiting the video, you can just swipe up from the bottom of the screen to see a list of recommended videos. You can scroll the list horizontally and then just tap on one of the videos and it'll start playing. There may be reasons why you would need to increase or decrease the video quality. To access the video quality settings, when you start watching a video, tap on the menu button, which is the three dots in the upper right corner. Tap on quality. If you have a slow internet connection or you're concerned about using too much bandwidth, you may want to switch to a lower resolution. 360p is the middle ground between bandwidth and quality. On many videos, 1080p is your best choice if you have a fast internet connection and unlimited bandwidth. While we're in the quick settings menu, let's look at some of the other options. If you require subtitles, you're in luck. YouTube auto-generates subtitles in 10 languages, which can be accessed by selecting captions. Then select your language if it's available. Then it will show up on screen for the video you're watching. Below captions is playback speed. Selecting it will give you the choice to watch a video at a quarter of the speed all the way up to two times faster. If you want to geek out, select stats for nerds. On the screen, you can view the audio and video format, resolution, drop frames, and all sorts of other information. If you don't see stats for nerds, no worries. I'll show you how to enable it later in this video. If you own a Google Cardboard virtual reality headset, select View in Cardboard to watch just about any YouTube video in VR. If you don't have a VR headset, no problem. There are a lot of 360 degree videos on YouTube. With your phone or tablet, you can tilt left, right, up, or down to change your perspective. If you're prone to getting nauseous easily, you may want to avoid the 360 and VR videos. A tip for finding 360 degree content on YouTube is after completing your search, select the filter, and then down here in features, select 360 degrees, and then apply. If roller coasters are your thing, there's a lot of 360 degree videos in that category. One of the best features on YouTube is being able to save a video for offline viewing. Unfortunately, this feature is only available if you have the YouTube Red service, which costs about $10 per month. Below the video, to save it, select Download. Once the download is finished, that video will be available offline for 30 days. To find your offline video, go back to your home screen. In the lower right, select Library find available offline, 
tap Downloads. Now you should see your offline videos. Being able to play one video after another with autoplay is a cool feature on YouTube. I actually still have people ask me how to turn on or off autoplay. I won't name any names, you know who you are, but it's real simple. You can find the toggle for autoplay below the video and to the right of the up next queue. You can just toggle it on or off here. Let's go back to the primary settings menu that I showed you earlier and I'll go over a few of the key settings that you might want to change. At the top, select general. If you want to reduce your cellular data usage, there's a toggle here at the top. When enabled, it will force HD video only when you're on a Wi-Fi connection. Near the middle of this page is location. Select it. If you don't like the trending section in your country or you want to watch videos that are not available where you live, you can change your country here. At the bottom of this page is the toggle to enable stats for nerds that I mentioned earlier. Let's back out to the main settings page. Just below the middle of this page, select history and privacy. Here you can clear your watch and search history. If you have a friend or family member that uses your phone or tablet on a frequent basis to watch YouTube videos, before handing your device over to them, turn on pause watch history and pause search history, and this will eliminate the possibility of what they watched showing related content in your recommended list. Think of it this way. If the person that bars your device only watches cat videos and you can't stand cat videos, then you probably wouldn't want your recommended list full of those types of videos. And with that, we'll end this video. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. If you know of a tip or trick not mentioned that is useful with the YouTube app on Android, let us know in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and ring the bell notification icon for more Android tips and other tech-related stuff from Tech Gumbo.